Hi. Um, first, I, I would hope that the new hookup fees for uh, sewer and and water go to EID. And if they do, have those rates been increased like the residents' uh, rates? Well, EID's uh, residential rates, of course, for water have gone up 102% from 2010 to 2015. Uh, initially, uh, management proposed that those FCC charges go up a fair amount, nowhere near 102%. Uh, but that happened a couple of months ago, and uh, the board was uh, not keen on the uh, recommendations that uh, management made. So for the couple of months, and there were some more meetings with the developers, and the net upshot is they took what was going to be a $2,400,000 water uh, hookup fee and they took it back down to $7,000. Um, if you took all the, uh, or 8%, 8% increase over five years versus 102%. Uh, if you take the value of $7,000 times the more, almost 20,000 um, approved uh, new hookups, uh, you got $140 million right there, let alone what happened on the sewer side. So uh, uh, Monday, they're going to be voting, actually voting on this issue. And uh, if, uh, if that goes through, well, that's just going to add more money that has to be paid by uh, regular rate payers. So that's a big problem. The answer to the question is yes, the FCCs did go up. Uh, they didn't go up proportionally. Uh, and they flatten the FCC rates throughout the county. There's, there's obviously higher and lower costs according to where you're building and where you're developing. But uh, the upstart was they flatten the FCCs across the county. They're what, 17, 17, five across the county now. And they, uh, they did go up, but not proportionally to the residential rates. Right. And I think the EID got in the business of speculating as to how many houses we were gonna have in Elrod County. And so they built out in anticipation of a growth that came to a screeching halt when the housing market collapsed. So in the interim, the ratepayers are having to subsidize those costs that have been already built out. 